welcome, welcome, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon as we raise our voices, strings, trumpets, and drums in a joyous noise, uh, which is a terrific antidote to the cold of February, although we have a wonderful sunny day. You just heard Michael Haydn's Te Deum and Jubilate. He is always going to be best known as the younger brother of Franz Josef Haydn, but he enjoyed a distinguished career of his own. Like his brother, he spent his youth in Vienna as a choir boy at the cathedral and then studied organ there as well. And at age 25, he was hired for the most important musical position in the city of Salzburg, um, where he remained for four decades until his death. As the leading musician in Salzburg in the 1760s and 1770s, he was a role model and mentor for the young Mozart. And in later years, they also went carousing together, um, <laughs> as Michael Haydn liked to do that. Um, from Salzburg and Michael Haydn, we moved to Paris uh, to the time of Louis XIV. And Marc-Antoine Charpentier was one of the leading French composers of the time. He didn't work directly for the king, but he worked for the church uh, in Paris. And as you'll hear from his setting of By the Rivers of Babylon that we'll do next, he has a really rich and elegant harmonic style, which he then pairs with these buoyant dance-like phrases. Enjoy.
is a generation younger than Charpentier, and he worked primarily in Rome. He was best known for his oratorios and operas. More than 100 of his operas still survive, so he was quite prolific. Um, and his, his music is very dramatic and vocally flamboyant, hardly surprising from an opera composer. Um, and his style ends up being a key ingredient in Mozart's opera style 50 years, 50 years later. Like the Charpentier that you've just heard, this Miserere Mei that we'll sing juxtaposes these beautiful, slow, legato phrases with dance-like exuberance.